بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أي لهبة في الله كتير وانا حلقة رمضانية we were talking about bitter bitter and we discussed the ayat where Allah, well, one of the many ayats where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions having birra and cooperating. And I wanted to give us a stronger sharia context now with the same ayat with a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and a qawl of one of our salaf, Ibn Daqiq al-Eid, rahmatullahi alayhi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وتعاونوا على بر وتقوى ولا تعاونوا على إثم وعدوان واتقوا الله إن الله شديد العقاب. الله سبحانه وتعالى says in سورة المائدة verse the second verse he تبارك وتعالى says and cooperate in righteousness and God consciousness or God fearfulness تقوى and do not cooperate in sinfulness and enmity and fear Allah verily Allah is severe in his punishment An Nawas ibn Sam'an radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal sa'altu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam an al-birri wal-ithmi faqal al-birru husn al-khulq والإثم ما هاك في صدرك وكرهت أن يطلع عليه الناس. With regards to that ayah of Habib Allah in the hadith of Nawas ibn Sam'an رضي الله تعالى عنه, he said, I asked the Prophet of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم, I asked the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم about bir and ithm. About righteousness and sinfulness. The Prophet ﷺ said, Righteousness is good manners, and sinfulness is that which irritates your heart or in your chest, you feel uncomfortable about it, and that you hate for the people to find out about it. Ru'ahu Muslim. This is in Sahih Muslim. Ahabatifillah, what a beautiful hadith. And what a beautiful explanation of uh, bitter wa itham by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And what a beautiful question that Nawas bin Sam'an radiallahu ta'ala anhu asked, which clarifies for us. As he said, what is bitter with ithm? He asked about bitter with ithm. Bitter with ithm. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Al bitter, righteousness, is husn al khulq. It's having those good manners. Habitifillah. That's our methodology. That's our minhaj. That's the minhaj of Ahlul Sunnah. That's what it means to be Salafi. Is to have. That's part of it. Is to have righteous manners because that's a part of Islam." And that's going to be one of the heaviest things on your scale of good deeds. And what's the delay for that? What's the proof? Am I just speaking for myself? The Prophet ﷺ said, "Ma min shayin atkulu fi meizan al mu'min yom al qiyam min husn al khulq, wa inna Allaha yubghidu al fash al bari." The Prophet ﷺ said, "There won't cease to be a thing which weighs heavier on the scale of your good deeds than righteous manners, and verily Allah hates wicked and sinful speech." So righteousness is good, good manners. Part of that good conduct of Habitifillah, if you have beef or a problem with someone, rectify it. It's Ramadan, especially now. If you have a problem with your brother or your sister, someone in your family, get it straight right now. Call them. Even if you were not mistaken, sometimes just for the sake of the maslaha, say, hey, I was wrong. Maybe I went a little too far. Please forgive me. 
in case I die today. Do that with your sister. Do that with your brother right now. And get those get that ajr from Allah. Birru. Al birru, Mada Kala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Al Birru Husnu Khuk, Birru, righteousness is good manners. Be the best in manners. Be good and make that islah between you and your family. Well ithum and sinfulness is that which is uncomfortable in your southern. How many of us, when we commit a sin, would you like the people to see that? I don't want no one to see the sins that I've committed. And as some of the Salaf used to say, if the people were to, if my sin had a smell, the people would smell me from a mile away, or what means something similar to this. So that sinfulness is that what makes you uncomfortable? You feel uncomfortable. Even if people are doing the same sin as you. Even if the people are disbelievers. If they see you and you're a Muslim, you're coming out the club, you're going to feel crunchy. If you have any taqwa. If you have any of this, uh, uh, that iman still left. You're going to feel bad. Because they know that you're out of pocket. And you're in the wrong place. You don't want the people to, to know. This is what the Prophet ﷺ said. Well, if me. Mahaka fi sadrika. And itham, sin, sinfulness, is what you're, you feel discomfort in your chest and you feel discomfort about it. And then he explained it even more. Wa karahta an alayhi nas. And you hate that the people would, would, uh, would, uh, would know that, what you did, that sinfulness. Qalibin daqiq al Eid, and we'll stop here. Rahmatullah he said, Amma al biru. He said that bir, righteousness, it is that the person who does this action, it's an action, uh, they're doing an action of great righteousness. And this makes them from the abrar, those pious ones that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the labrar ala fi na'im, the, the abrar, the righteous ones. Those righteous ones is from bir, biru, yubaru, uh, abrar. Abrar is, those, is the, the plural of those people who do that righteousness, who encompass those people who strive for khair. They're striving to do righteousness. Not that they're just sitting and they did some good deeds, they spent a little money on charity, but they strove in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They spent their money, they kept the ties of kinship, they uh, were obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they established the prayer, they paid the zakat, they gave in sadaqah. They did those righteous deeds, they strove, they made effort to do those things. That's the multi. Muti'una lillah azza wa jal. Those people who are obedient, completely obedient to Allah azza wa jal. Then he said, Well, Murad bi husnul khulq. And then he said, What is meant by husnul khulq? So he's explaining this hadith, giving us the explanation from the Mufassireen of hadith, from Ahla hadith, about this, this hadith we just mentioned. He said, is What is meant by righteous uh, deeds is being in Safi Ma'amalat, being in the middle being just and in the middle with your with how you operate and interact with other people. Look at that. If we only understood what the Salaf uh, and, and practice and applied the Quran and the Sunnah and the, the Madhab of the Salaf, if we really practiced that, we would have such a better Ummah. The people would be in such a better state. But it's like we only pick and choose. We don't really get into that. We don't want to have bitter we don't want to want to really uh, 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 strive for those things because that takes striving to overcome your nefs, and that's a part of working on tis that's a part of tiskiya, the nefs, purifying your nefs, putting your 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 desires aside and what you want and what you think is best and what makes you sound better by cursing this one and slandering that one. We want to do that, but instead of just putting that aside, whoa, I gotta calm my nefs and let me practice some bitter with taqwa. And let me be just and in the middle in my mu'amalat. وَرِفْكُ fi muhawala, muhawalati. And then he said, and leanness or rifq or gentleness in your endeavors. Being gentle, 
being in the middle. Wal adl fil ahkam. And being just in your rulings. Allah, Allah. Look at this. It's before us with the salaf. We don't. We, we're busy with something else. وَبَذُلْ فِي إِحْسَانِ And being, striving for righteousness or goodness. وَغَيْرَ ذَلَكَ مِنْ صِفَاتُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And he said, and other than that, from the attributes of the believer, the sifat al-mu'mineen, أَحَبَتِ فِي اللَّهِ That alone is enough for us to ta'amu. Go back and listen to that hadith and listen to those to the uh, what Ibn Daqiq al-Eid and if you know Arabic go to the explanation Ibn Daqiq al-Eid his explanation of Arba'ina Nawawi of this this hadith and you, you'll find this this fantastic explanation and more and we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with bitter with taqwa with bitter with taqwa wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam